Hey, Sneak with Us versus Herd. If it's your first time here, love the content, hit subscribe. If you want to get notifications for when we post videos, tap the bell. If you want to join or subscribe to our options trading live channel, I go live Monday through Friday, 30 minutes before market open. Link is below in the description. And if you want to join our UVH fam, our community, links are below in the description to our Discord and our options trading group on Facebook. If you made money today, comment below, got paid. If you lost money, comment below, learned a lesson. If you could do me a favor, hit the like button. I definitely would appreciate it for the YouTube algo. Really appreciate it. And for those people who are wondering why I name the videos the way that I do is because of the YouTube algo. So I'll just settle it right there. That's that's the reason. I don't enjoy my I don't enjoy making the same titles every day, but for some reason, the YouTube algo does. When I when I deviate from that, things get a little things get a little crazy. So you know, bear with me. It when the YouTube algo pushes you, you kind of have to go with it. You know, it, it it is what it is. It's not it's not fair. It's not right. But you do what you got to do. Um, kind of getting into things today. I closed down today, 370. So I'm still green on the week, thankfully. But we had we had to fight back on Snap. Snap. If you guys watched the video from last night, I was heavily short. Snap came back and bit me. I'll I'll, I'll kind of walk through that trade here in a second. Lost three seven or five seventy eight. But we we got back half the losses a little bit here. If we can see if we can get Snap running up a little bit. But before we get into the trade, let's talk about Snap here. The chart. So Snap, they had great earnings, definitely went against everything that I thought was going to happen. I thought what was going to happen is because they had lower advertising. I thought they're going to have lower advertising revenues because people are cutting back on ad spending, even though they had, you know, a higher amount of users signing up and daily active users, all that. But apparently they they top revenues and they grew their user base. So here we are. You know, and that and that's what it is, and that that's why I probably went a little bit too big on earnings on Snap. But I thought that I thought that I had it in the bag, but that's I mean that's what happens. Now now it's way above the 200-day moving average, moving up probably to 18 or 19. I'm assuming we're going to probably get some upgrades, some more upgrades here in the near future. But it, it bounced basically from you know the 1250s up to the $17 mark and it's up 36 whopping percent yesterday it was only supposed to move $2.60 which is why I maneuvered the way that I maneuvered so let me get into it I had a couple trades on snap and you know to kind of break it down for you like well ho holy cow what did, what did you do here so to kind of break it down real quick right here I had a 1250 naked put okay I just had the 1250 naked put which I, I sold back for a penny because I was like, hey, I'll take the dollar back. You know, it's going to be worthless here. It's, it's a 12.50 put. Snap's not coming back by 12.50 by in two days. So I'll take the dollar, get a dollar back. You know, so I booked a $107 loss on that. And then I had an iron condor, which I sold on Snap. Or that I bought back. Where is the iron condor? I kind of did this in pieces here. Let me, let me just clear this up real quick. Okay, so I did I did I did this in pieces and what I what I did if you if you if you take a look at my orders here, um, I did put an iron condor on on yesterday. So I was short right in here as you can see I'm short the 13 strike put. I'm short the 13 strike call and this is and this is where things got a little bit a little bit complicated because here here's here's the here's my thinking on snap today is snap okay we have a huge gap up up here let me zoom in on today's chart we have a huge gap up it's ripping i close out my positions this morning at and I, when, I, when I say close out my positions, I bought back the short strike. So as you can see here, I had an iron condor. I was short to 13, 13 strike put, long the 13 strike call. I'm sorry, short the 13 strike call, thir short the 13 strike put. I bought back at 928 this morning, as you can see here, 274. Cost me 274. Cost me, as you can see here, I lost I lost a good 500. I got lost a good 500 bucks here. So I lost 420 on the call. Oh, I made one. I made one. I made 124. Sorry, I made 124 on the on the on the put, 175 on the call. So 
sorry, I'm even getting myself confused here. <laughs> I don't know what I did. You know what, I got into the zone here and this morning I was just kind of maneuvering. So basically, I had an iron condor. I'm long the 18 call, long the eight put. I left those alone. I bought back the 13 put and the 13 call because why, why did I do that? Is because I thought that snap was gonna go higher and it was starting to trigger my protection um, and so instead of instead of closing out the whole iron condor taking the hit I decided to I decided to leave the long calls open because I got them so cheap if we look at this if we look at this call that I got here if, if I have the 18 call for this week I mean it literally cost me it literally cost me seven dollars so wh why would I close it out so might as well see if might as well see if snapchat is going to run to 18 dollars this week then close it out because it only cost me seven dollars for that protection there now really where the real money maker is is coming in on the 16 call so the second part of that trade was i had i was also short next week i was short the 13 calls and i was long the 16 calls so i was already pretty screwed on that trade so what i did was i bought back this morning again you know, I bought back those two 13 strike calls, but I let the 16 the 16 calls run. So as you can see here, 928, I closed out my short strikes, bought them back. 941, I closed out the rest of my short strikes because I knew that it was it just wasn't stopping. Snap is not going to stop, and I think that's probably going to run to 18 1850 area. So that's why I held on to the long the long calls, kind of to, to, to defend what's going on here. And as you can see here. You know those two long those two long calls are now worth a dollar sixty one. They're up four hundred eighty nine percent. Is why I get that's why I left them because I I figured I was I was really close to being in the money on them. Figured they could run. You know my total cost on there is fifty six bucks, which means I only paid like twenty twenty five cents twenty five cents per contract. You know I have I have two of them. And now they're worth 330. So it cost me 56 bucks altogether. Now they're worth 330 bucks together, which is why I left it. So that's why I left my long call, 18 call, and my long, I long my long 16 call. So I bought it back so I can I can play some defense. I made some money back here. Probably gonna close it out. See if we can hit maybe 1750, maybe 18 area tomorrow. You know, right now it, it snap is up a little bit after hours is at like 1711. So. You know, we'll 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 see right up in here. Like, we'll see it. We'll see if we can try to push 18 tomorrow, and then we can close it out. And we'll we'll try to minimize the damage as much as possible. But, you know, I just wanted to show you that, you know, just because you're at a loss, a lot of people are just like, okay, scrap the trade, throw it away, lose the 600 bucks, and move on. But for me personally, I like to fight. If I find if I if I, if I sit there and think about a way to get out of it, a lot of times with options, it's kind of like Legos. You can find a way to build something that that will that will benefit you. The market's going to change. Your position can't change once you put the once you put the position position on. But you can change the position uh, based on how the stock starts moving. So you know we got back we got back 289. Yes, we lost 578, but so far we collected 289 back of that. So really, I got back half of my loss. So you can see here, my P&L for the day is down 285. I got back 289. So you know, I know this was a little bit of long winded, but it was it was a it was a, diff, a, a little bit of a complicated trade to walk you through. Um, other trade I did today, I didn't really do a whole lot. On Netflix, I did buy the 420 call for next week, down a couple hundred. It's only down, you know, 11 per, 11 percent right now. I bought that. <clears throat> I bought that, you know, pretty much an hour a hour into open. It, I bought it for 19.55. Netflix was really just an inside day today. Really, just kind of con was consolidating. It was just was just kind of pinging around. I should have sold it up when it ran up to 430. Should have sold it for the 300 dollars, but I was only I was only up. You know, I was up about 15% on it, so I was like, you know, I'm just gonna. I was up like 250, 280, somewhere around there, and then it came back down, just kind of pinging back and forth. So we'll see. We'll see if we can get some momentum up tomorrow. Sure, maybe I could lose some money on it, but you know, that's that's the risk when you trade options. I do think I do think that for Netflix, we are gonna probably try to tap this 440 area, which was my target, which is why I didn't sell because it had a pretty pretty good momentum running up to 430, and it just it just couldn't it just couldn't push. So. 
you know, we'll see, we'll see what happens on Netflix. But right now I'm long the 420 strike call for next week expiration. So I have I have a little bit of time on it, not too concerned. And then the other day trade I did today was DocuSign. DocuSign we made we made 95 bucks on DocuSign day trade. Let me pull this up real quick. So I bought it for 645. I bought the 9750 call. It's for May 15th expiration for 645. Sold it for 740. DocuSign, if you, I've been watching it a little bit here, it's been running due to all the remote work that people have been doing, and you know it, it's basically e-signing and, and forms and all that for people to sign sign important forms online. But basically, yesterday I was really impressed with the movement here, and then today I bought the dip again when it came back down. It looked like it was going to recover, and I pushed back up to 101. So these are some really clean. This not so much, but yesterday and today some really clean. If you zoom in on here, these really clean day trading charts. So really, really, it was a really pretty easy trade. I would say just I just bought the dip here. If it broke below 98, I was gonna I was gonna sell it off, but. It didn't, and it just kept ripping. I, I, I sold it a little too early. I sold it when it was like 100, 150. It popped up with a couple, a couple more dollars. Could have made a couple hundred dollars more, but you know, it was just for a quick day trade, quick scalp on that. And then on Domino's, I do have a position on Domino's. Now Domino's is a little tricky. I actually didn't think I was going to get filled here, but Domino's ran really hard after Chipotle earnings today. Um, let me show you real quick. Right now it's at 385, pretty flat. Did it did it did try to sell off here a bit, but came back up into into the close is when I got filled when on this bounce back up I got filled. So right now, you know, Domino's touching all-time highs in here. You know, could it I mean it could it could explode. I could get it handed to me, but I think that the premium was really rich in here, so I wanted to give it a try. I'm short the 385 call and put long the 410 long the 360 put and what I'm looking for tomorrow here let me pull this up for tomorrow I beat at 177% and let's just say it comes down to like 120% you know basically it's expecting a $30 move I basically need it to be a below like 412 and above and above the 361 area so I thought it was a pretty safe range to trade in. You know, if it stays within this range, you make a couple hundred dollars. I did collect on Domino's. I did collect $19 in premium. So, you know, if I get a couple hundred dollars out of that, make 20, 15, 20%, you know, I would say that's that's gonna be a win. Hopefully, hopefully premium, you know, hopefully it stays within here and then premium gets crushed more than that. You know, that's even 100%. If, if we go down 100%, you know, we go down to, Not that low. Not that low. Let's do. Uh, okay, let's just say IV comes down to ninety-seven percent. You know, kind of extends the range a little bit more, a little bit more profit. And you know, I felt that it was a fairly safe trade. The only thing with Domino's is it's not that liquid, so you got to be careful with trading Domino's. So you know, I definitely thought it was a little bit priced in now that it that it, that it moves so much before earnings, kind of like Netflix. But you know, kind of like. As you guys know, when you're trading earnings, anything, anything, anything can happen, as you can see with 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 um, Snapchat. But as you can see, you know, you always have a plan to roll out, see what you can do, see what you can do to adjust the trade and start start finding it back. Had a great had a green day trade. Um, XOP, I'm waiting for that to kind of come down a little bit. We'll see. It's it was it was kind of crazy in XOP. I am right now i have the 44 put for xop it just doesn't want to come down it came down a little bit touched 46 gapped up hit 46 34 came down a little bit but really really just chilled the whole day i'm looking forward to hit the like the 40 area is what i was looking for but now i don't know if it's going to come down you know a whole 10 percent. i mean that's a lot so we'll see we'll see what happens i'm gonna i'm gonna see what happens by friday if, if nothing happens by friday if it's still trying to push up to like 50 or so i'll probably just cut it loose but right now it's making the decision here. It stopped out right, right at the highs here at the April 9th highs here. So we'll see if it's going to try to fill this gap or if it's going to get rejected. So that's kind of what I'm waiting for right now on XOP. Um, USO, 
USO as well. I took a nine dollar loss on USO. Basically, what I did is I I sold my three strike puts puts because I bought them when IV was a little bit too high and they weren't really making any more money. And I rolled them into June. Um, those are down twenty two bucks right now because XOP went up a little. Uh, USO went up a little bit, and you know I'm still I'm still basically I'm long in January. I'm short in June. So uh, short. Short term, I'm short. Long term, I'm long, USO. But USO is going to be interesting. USO is going to go through a reverse stock split tomorrow. So we'll see how that plays out and see what the happens with the stock tomorrow. You know, it's always it's always something that got, it got, it got halted again today, pending the news, and it's going to go through a reverse stock split split tomorrow. So uh, we'll, 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 we'll see what happens. Um, SPY, right now, SPY hit hit above 280, got slammed at the close, 279. You know, I definitely think that we could be hitting like the 288, 287 area again, probably looking for a retest on there. You know, it was it was a pretty low volume day. And then when once volume kicked in, as you can see on SPY, once volume kicked in, this dropped down pretty hard, people taking profits. So we'll see, nothing really going on in the market today, except for, you know, Iran launches its first military satellite, and then Trump also, warned that the United States would destroy Iranian, Iranian gunboats that harass American ships at sea. So, you know, that's probably why oil is up a little bit. Things are turning up with that. So, you know, we'll play, we'll play it by ear. If you watch this video to the end, comment, watch to the end, hit the like button. As always, stay safe, stay green. It's us versus Herd.